How to expose the narcissist to other people. It can be very difficult to expose the narcissist. It can be very difficult to get other people to see what is really going on. But if you could expose the narcissist to other people, it would be very validating for you to know that even one other person can see that this is toxic behavior. But this doesn't normally happen. If you try to expose the narcissist to other people, it will make you look bad. People will say that you're being too sensitive or that you're overreacting. They might say that you're the one who has the problem. Or they will try to justify the narcissist's behavior and say that you need to forgive them. Most people don't understand narcissism. They're not educated on this disorder. If you try to grey rock the narcissist or set boundaries, people will see it as though you're doing something wrong. As though you're abandoning the narcissist when they need your help and support. They will see you as the problem. And yet, if you decide to call them out on being a narcissist, their flying monkeys will justify their behavior or make excuses for it. The flying monkeys will make it seem like something is wrong with you for even pointing out their behavior. The narcissist always has people around them who enable what they do. That's what makes the narcissist so comfortable in these situations. Because although the narcissist may abuse you behind closed doors, when they are out in public, they're all about seeking admiration. They're more focused on their image and reputation. So everyone thinks you're so lucky to be with this person. Because all they ever do is tell people how much they do for you. And how much they put up with. Yet they still stick around to support you. The narcissist is either the hero or the victim in every situation. And whatever role they have chosen to play, people will be eating it up. And seeing the narcissist as this amazing person who has done so much for you. Even though before this event, they may have been invalidating you and putting you down. And you know that as soon as this event is over, that behavior is going to continue. The narcissist is two-faced. They are insincere and deceitful. They wear a mask in public, which makes it difficult for people to tell what is really going on. 
people will often gaslight you and minimize the abuse because they don't see what the narcissist is really like behind closed doors. So you might just keep it to yourself. You might not tell anyone. And this is often what people do. People spend their entire lives in silence. Not speaking up about what they're going through. Because they don't believe that anyone is going to understand. If they were to share what the narcissist was doing to them. And they are right to think this way. Because if they did share this information with anyone, no one would believe them. People would gaslight them. They would invalidate their experience and make it seem like it's not a big deal. Because it's easier for people to just ignore it and act like it isn't really happening. They're more comfortable seeing it that way and then they don't have to do anything about it. The best way to expose the narcissist to other people is by not trying to expose them. Let their behavior speak for itself. Gradually detach from the narcissist and then they will look for another source of supply. They will look for someone else to regulate their emotions. And most often, this will be one of their flying monkeys. One of their flying monkeys will have to deal with a narcissist behavior. They will become the narcissist emotional tampon. They will begin to share a similar experience to what you had to go through. And that is when you can go to that fly monkey and ask them if they're okay. You can tell them that how they are being treated is not right. So that you then avoid the risk of being invalidated. Because now you're just observing their experience. But this can take time until the flying monkey notices the narcissist pattern of behavior. You may need to document your experiences. But rather than calling the narcissist out, you can tell people that the relationship is not good for you. And you need to leave. People may make you feel bad for leaving. They may try to make you think that you are doing something wrong. But stating that you need to protect and preserve yourself 
is going to be more effective than calling the narcissist out. Because people aren't going to understand it unless they've been through it themselves. Unless they have been victims of narcissistic abuse. How do you expose the narcissist to other people? By not trying to expose them. And instead, giving them the space they need to hurt someone else. If you give the narcissist enough rope, they will hang themselves. If you allow them to continue on their course, they will suffer its consequences. Instead of trying to prevent something that is inevitable, step out of the way and give them the opportunity to do something wrong or detrimental to themselves so that other people will finally see what they're really like. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.